Hi guys, I'm glad you're able to join me for the Jesus is Risen first in our series. So today we're going to talk about a story that involves Mary Magdalene. But before that, we'll go through our highs and lows, just like we always do. My high was all of yesterday. Easter was very fun. I enjoyed it very much. And uh, everybody who is sheltering in place here, we all had a great time and enjoyed the morning service. So it was very good. And my low is that it is cold and dreary and it feels kind of early right now. That is my low. So let's talk about our story. So we are doing this out of the Spark Bible. And this is John chapter 20 verses 11 through 18. Now Mary had gone to the tomb in order to mourn and visit Jesus where he was buried this morning. But Mary stood weeping outside of the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord. I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not ascended to the father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced this to the disciples. I have seen the Lord. And she told them he had said these things to her. So there's our story today. So Mary went to mourn and it was an empty tomb and it made her even more upset and even more sad she was probably crying a lot her eyes were probably blurred with tears but somehow i think even if her eyes hadn't been blurred with tears she still might not have recognized jesus because jesus probably was a little different at that point jesus was looking more like a gardener versus a teacher or the savior that he was back before he had risen and really, if you think about it, looking like a gardener for Jesus is just about right. Jesus likes to grow people's faith. He helps to plant good things in our lives. Jesus also gets rid of the bad things in our lives, a lot of the way a gardener might get rid of the bad weeds in a garden. Jesus also takes care of us, helps us. Isn't that what a gardener does to his garden? He helps his plants or she helps her plants as much as possible. So I think seeing Jesus as a gardener is probably more of a true image of what Jesus is. He helps us. He gives us everything we need. He helps us to live. In fact, he gives us eternal life because of the sacrifice. That's pretty great. So for your craft today, there's a couple different things. You can plant seeds as you guys have had done through Lent. These are your cherry plants. I am having trouble telling who's is who's even at this point, but look how big and beautiful they are. We're going to have to get them into the ground, I think, pretty soon because some of them are so big, they're actually falling over. Or you can plant any seeds. You can plant them even in a paper cup. Or you could go through and paint a rock. So you can paint it pretty designs or you can paint um, a, maybe a Bible verse on it or a heart or a smiley face. And you can decorate your garden at least before your plants have come up and maybe even after your plants come up with some rocks that you've painted to make pretty. And really honestly, you could even put stickers on a rock. You could put stickers. I have some of those. I don't have a lot of stickers here at my house, but I've got a few. So you could use some of those things to decorate some rocks or plant some things. And maybe you can help to um, grow some beautiful things, just like Jesus grows beautiful things in your life. 
you can grow beautiful things all around you. So before we leave, we always end with prayer and blessings. So God, I pray that everybody who is watching this uh, is blessed today, that you are with them during these difficult times with the COVID-19 shelter in place. Please send everybody peace and definitely healing and protection to all of those people who are um, in healthcare working, who are healthcare workers or who are essential workers. Amen. Blessings to you. Blessings to parents, blessings to kids. Make sure you bless each other. Have a good day.